I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to waste my life because when I die, I'm going to paradise. And I'm not worried, so I'm in a hurry to die. But no one's going to disrespect me and no one's going to write nonsense about me without me retaliating back. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me. But, that, but I always stayed afraid of him. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. Keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom. And one of his eyes may move. And then I know I have him. And then he comes to the center of the ring. He still looks at me with his piercing broken as if he's not afraid. But he made me that the same And then he just for that one two more seconds. Get together. I'm bigger than the Super Bowl, the Rose Bowl, the Kentucky Bowl, and I'm having a 500. When I go, the world kill it. The oh, world. yes. Another heavyweight boxing prediction here, scheduled for the 31st of May 2014, between Anthony Joshua versus Matt Legg. This is on the undercard of the Frotch Groves 2 rematch fight, by the way. This opponent was, just seen this opponent that was, it was to be announced. And finally, we know who AJ, as he's nicknamed, is fighting on the 31st. Now... Some people could criticise uh, the team for bringing him out so soon after a fight after fight, you know. I think this is going to be a sixth fight, pro fight. But, uh, in my opinion, it's not too much trouble for AJ because uh, the distance has been with his opponents, they haven't lasted too long, have they? Uh, he's either knocked them out or he's TKO'd where the ref has stopped stopped the fight. Now we say we say we said uh, in his last fight against the Ian Dart Chow that was a a bit of a step up, well, a, a significant step up uh, for AJ uh, in that fight and. Uh, he did the business, didn't he? This Matt Leg was in uh, prize fight at the heavyweights, uh, and he, I think he beat uh, an American boxer, an ex champ. Uh, this guy, uh, there he is in prize fighter. Uh, I have AJ basically. Getting a, another win here. This is eight three minute rounds of boxing, and I just don't see this mat leg lasting that long, to be honest with you. Dorian Darch, he, he, he takes his time, doesn't he, you know? He'll soften the, the, his opponents up, breaks them down round by round, and then he goes for the for the kill. I love his his right hand uh, punch, uh, power punch, isn't it? It's pops it out beautifully. Uh, it can, I mean, he almost. I think he he, he knocked someone down with it, a jab, didn't he? Uh, one time. Great boxer, you know, uh, coming off of the Olympics. He's under a good promotion team. And I've just been reading, actually, that uh, in, in a year's time, he'll be, he will be wanting to face uh, Vladimir Klitschko. I think that's a bit ahead of himself, but 
you know, it's not without uh, its problems that fight, is it? AJ is, would give uh, Vladimir Klitschko plenty of problems because he has the height, he has the reach, whereas some of Vladimir's opponents, in, quite, in fact quite a number of them, uh, haven't had that advantage where the the stats are the same you know sim or similar uh, i think aj is about six foot six isn't he with a a good reach span on him also so that would be we don't know where the klitschko's are going to go next do we uh vladimir especially uh, the caught up in in politics in the ukraine aren't they both brothers uh, I would say Vitaly more so than uh, Vladimir Klitschko. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. He's, he's coming along nicely. And I wouldn't worry too much about... You know, I think this is a two-month turnaround since his last fight against Dory and Darch. But I don't think it's an issue. He's in... Is in excellent, excellent conditioning. Every time he steps in the ring, you only have to glance at him to know what great condition is in. I have him winning this one, hopefully by a six to seven round uh, TKO or KO. Thanks for watching, as always, and let me know your thoughts of this one.